To practice isomers, I'm going to break them into two categories. One is structural, it could also be positional and functional. So I give you one example, we dissect that. The second category is stereoisomers, which will go uh, on the next slides. So as an example, I picked C4H10O. It, it can give me a bunch of alcohols that are related. They are isomers. They have the same molecular formula, but different arrangement of atoms or Lewis dot structure. The first one I write is a normal uh, one. Now the functional group hydroxyl is on the first carbon, so you have one, two, three carbons, so it's butanol or but one all. I also say a few other things that you should remember and know by now. This, this alcohol is a primary alcohol because the carbon that has functional group still has two hydrogen attached to it. Then I give you another variation of this isomers, um, and I'm going to just move the hydroxyl into the second carbon, and I will produce CH3CH. Now I'll put my OH down here, CH2, and I finalize it with CH3. You still have four carbons, 10 hydrogen, one oxygen, uh, we just change the position of the functional group, and this is on the second one, so we call it but2ol or 2-butanol. Now, if uh, we are going to decide what sort of carbon this is, since it still has one hydrogen, this is a secondary alcohol, because the carbon attached to the functional group hydroxyl has one hydrogen still left on it. Then I go after... Um, a tertiary version of this alcohol, CH3, C, CH3, CH3 down here, hydroxyl here. Now when you number this alcohol, it, you still have to find the uh, longest continuous chain. And this could be one, two, three. And on the second carbon, you have an alkyl, which is methyl, and a functional group of your alcohol. See, so this, the name of this alcohol is 2-methyl uh, and then prop is your last name, prop 2 all. Uh, now this carbon here has no more hydrogen attached to it and has the functional group hydroxyl, so this is a tertiary version of that. Uh, there is one other possible alcohol you can produce with, with this, which is CH2OH, C in the middle, uh, H, we open the structure, CH3, CH3. Now if you number this uh, carbons, the functional group carbon is number one, two, three, and then the attachment you have is this methyl group here. So this is 2-methyl prop 1-ol, because you have three carbons as your longest chain. So this is 2-methyl prop 1-ol, or prop 1-ol. Uh, and uh, finally, you can also have a functional uh, isomer of this C4H10O. You can have uh, an ether, so you could have CH3, O, then the remainder of carbons, which you have three carbons, C3, H7. Now, this is a ether. Ether has been removed from IB, but you still can name it. Uh, I mean, you still can draw it and say this is a, a functional isomer, but the name is... I'll give you the name, although you're not responsible for it. Methoxypropane. But then again, the name you're not, not required. You could have another ether. You could have C2H5, oxygen in between, another C2H5. This is again an ether, and this could be a toxyethane. So for this C4H10O, we, we have by now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 
isomers. Now one of these isomers which is number two uh, I'm going to box this in red say this will also have another version of it which is an stereoisomers and that's what I'm going to discuss on the next slide. So